States. Imagine that you are a soldier stationed in Iraq. Mail call comes around and you've got a letter from back home. But it is not from your family or your friends. It is a letter telling you that you are a pawn in the service of the, quote, New World Order. And that you are risking your life for a government that helped carry out the 9-11 attacks. This is not a joke. This is actually happening. These letters are the work of Mark Dice, the founder of a group called The Resistance. Mark joins us live now, along with Captain Pete Hegseth. Pete is a National Guardsman who served in Iraq, and he is the Executive Director of Vets for Freedom. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Um, Mark, let me start with you. Uh, do you think this is helpful for, to our troops serving on the ground in Iraq? I think that it's very beneficial that we inform them as to the true circumstances that got them in the situation that they're in. I think that if I think that if they're able to make better decisions based on the facts and they can decide to direct their lives and their careers and the positions and the direction that they want to go, I think feeding them a constant stream of propaganda uh, is is one of the most detrimental things to them and, and to our service. What do you want them to do? Abandon the war? To just walk off the battlefield? We want them to join the 9-11 Truth Movement. We want them to ask their superiors hard and compelling questions about the circumstances of 9-11. Is, that, is that the role of, Amer of an American soldier? Well, we want them to get the leadership to start thinking about what it is that they're sending these troops into. Look, the troops are so angry that the, they've been put in that position based on lies. Ron Paul had the largest donations from the troops themselves. The troops know, I personally know United States Marines, active Marines who've served in Iraq, who know that 9-11 is an inside job. We're trying to get the word out to as many people as possible and not keep them with the wool over their eyes. Pete, does, uh, so he, they does, continue to put them. Pete does Mark accurately characterize the attitude of the you troops? Know, I, I don't even want to dignify this with a response, really. I mean, he, he knows a couple of Marines, so therefore he knows how the veterans feel and, and the troops feel about this conflict. You know, our troops are just a little bit busy over there. I don't think they're, they're going to want to take the time to open mail from some uh, fringe political sect. They're, they're too busy winning this war in Iraq. They're too busy decimating Al Qaeda and standing up in Iraq in an Iraqi government that can take the fight to our enemies. They're not worried about. I have a feeling these letters are going to find their way into the latrine and elsewhere. They're just not really going to care uh, what some group in Southern California thinks about their service. They know what they're doing. They believe in it. They're succeeding. And uh, frankly, for him to say he's talked to a couple Marines, who, you know. People will think a lot of different things, but I represent, we represent 24,000 vets at Vets for Freedom. We, uh, we believe in finishing this mission. We believe in what we're doing, and that's how most veterans and troops on the ground feel. Mark, given that, you, you say you care about the troops. You say you support them. Uh, given what you've just heard Pete say, how, how can you justify having 3,000 people send what some would argue amounts to hate mail to them? Okay, well, we're informing them we're going to be sending them DVDs, declassified documents of Operation Northwoods, where our government planned what makes you think terrorist they want attacks. That, Mark? Uh, <laughs> what makes you think they want a constant stream of propaganda? Why wouldn't somebody Mark. want the truth? People want the facts, okay? The, some, the Marines are hungry for the truth. What got them there? Why are they there? Why are they risking their lives? And well, we're going to help them understand that. So because you talk to a couple of Marines, you believe that therefore most Marines and, and soldiers in Iraq want out and they hate what they're doing. These are volunteers who believe in their service, the mission they've been sent to do, and they're achieving incredible things. They're winning on the battlefield against al-Qaeda and Iranian-backed militias. Why in the world would they care what you and a couple of other kooks in Southern California send them in the mail? They don't. These letters will end up in the toilet or on the firing range. They don't care about it. You should spend your time talking to politicians and not to soldiers. They're there with a the mission. And they're completing it. I'll give you the chance to Actually, respond. Actually, the, right? the Marines that I know say that 20 to 25 percent of the Marines believe that 9-11 was an inside <laughs> job, and they're very angry. They don't know what to do. They're in a very rough position. That's not something you can exactly go to your superior and say. And so we're trying to create a climate that's safe for these people to ask real questions, to send these questions, and to send this information up to the highest levels within the military, and so we can get our boys back as soon as possible, safe and sound. The, the, the only reason you can say what you're saying right now is because Marines for generations have been willing to fight for people like you to say outrageous things like you're saying, like 9-11 was an inside job. Uh, the Marines, I don't know where you got that stat of 25%. I'm sure you uh, made it up based on the couple of people you've spoken with. But the fact of the matter is most soldiers and Marines uh, understand why they're fighting. They understand the nature of the enemy because they see them on the battlefield every single day. And they just laugh off the kind of stuff you're trying to pull. I'm going to have to leave it at that. Actually, according to... And Mark Dice, thanks so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you.